we're big fans of Esther Perel. And she speaks a lot about the importance of maintaining a sense of mystery okay. and individuality in relationships. How do you advise couples around that, uh, you know, the balance of being close, but also individuation that allows for that kind of desire? First of all, have activities that you do individually, your own hobbies. My husband is a cyclist. He does that. I remember one time I was like, do you want me to cycle with you? And he's like, no, I'd like to keep that to myself. And it's fine because it just, for me, cycling feels like such a big hurdle. It's just, you know, it's too many moving parts at once to, you know, ride a bike and like start training and all the different things. Like one fourth of this closet is biking clothes. Just, I'm not interested in it. Mm -hmm. That's for him. Um, and I have, and I have my activities as well. And also making sure that you make like one-on-one -on -one time with your girlfriends or your guy friends, whatever, and go out separately. I think that is just like the simplest thing that you can do. More than that, I think part of the mystery is also making time to try new things together. I really think that like good sex is starting with doing like including novelty outside of the bedroom. So one thing that we do, this is actually from um, Tatiana from the Bedside Podcast. I heard her mention this once and I implemented it with my husband, which is twice a month we have a surprise date where one night I organize it, the other night he organizes it. So we just kind of, it's mm -hmm. in the agenda. We know when it's going to happen, but we don't know what's going to happen. So if I'm responsible for it, I'll organize it. One activity that we recently did that was super fun was... We went to Happy Medium, which for the people who aren't aware, it's like a casual art club for non-artists, I guess, like normal people that aren't necessarily, you know, 